Hello lovely people, my name is Emma. Welcome to my channel, welcome back. If you've never been here before, this is the second time I'm going to talk about Classically Abbey. I'll be honest, I'm cross. <laughs> Today I was going to watch Classically Abby's video explaining why she is anti-choice and I was fully prepared, I had all my arguments ready and I was ready to be objective and reasonable because it's a difficult conversation and I was like, I was totally in the frame of mind and I click on Classically Abby and she's got a new video which all I've seen is the title and she's wrong <laughs> and it combines my pet peeves, okay, so there's being a bigot right? Probably probably slightly extends beyond a pet peeve, so that's being a bigot and a native English speaker completely misunderstanding and misrepresenting the English language and then using their ignorance of the English language to try and make a bigoted point. Yeah, you know what it is, it's the they-them argument, it's the it could be a plural, which is it, it has blown my mind since the start that this has been... <laughs> so I'm so, like, I'm all over the place because this is not the video that I was going to do today. I'm still going to look at her anti-choice video and respond to it. I'm just going to do this first because she just did it and I'm just like, I need to get this out of my system because it's so frustrating and at least if I have a video explaining, then I don't have to keep repeating myself. I can just be like, I explained this already, here you go, next time somebody is wrong about the English language. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll talk about this probably as we go. But just on a very basic level, yes, you can use they, them in the singular. It is literally how we were taught to speak in school. When I was a little child, much, much younger than educated adult Abby, I was taught that if you don't know somebody's name, you use they, them as their pronouns. Someone's lost their wallet. Is anyone sitting there? Yes, sorry, they'll be right back. I found a lost dog. They must be so worried. My tooth hurts. I better go to the dentist. They'll know what to do. It's like fucking, it's basic, basic English language. And to use it as an argument so incorrectly, so frequently, is utterly frustrating beyond belief. It is so incredibly frustrating and when people when people use it to say it's just too hard for me to do because it's not how I normally speak. Yes it is. You're being deliberately ignorant. If you speak naturally about people whose names and genders you don't know, you will say they. You will have used they and them as a singular plural, as a singular plural, as a singular pronoun, you will have used it in your life. I promise you a hundred percent as a native English speaker, you will have used that as a singular pronoun. You're just now, through ignorance and or bigotry, pretending that it's not a thing to support this case. And what is this case? Calling people by their preferred pronouns. Oh no! It's so hard for me to have to just say they. This is Abby's little show she calls The Scoop. The thing is, it's like, it's thought out, it's considered. Because this is so common, people, her comments, she must know if she genuinely didn't know before that you can use they, them in the singular, then she does now because her comments are all people telling her and giving ex examples and being like, I'm sorry but you're you're wrong. <laughs> like, this is how the language works, you're totally wrong. How long would you have to spend on Google, right? Or Yahoo, or whatever your preferred search engine is. How long would it take? Ecosia, plant trees. How long would it take to look on the internet and find out that you're wrong? If you're going to the whole trouble of formatting an entire video, you can't do one second of research to get past this ignorance. This, this is how I felt seeing the title of Abby's video. Candace Owens got it right. One person is not they slash them. She's also doing the thing where, again, if you're new, uh, I interpret capital letters as shouting. That's how I read it. So um, she's shouting about it, obviously. So it's uh, it's a big deal. Oh my god, I'm already. I have I've watched exactly zero seconds of the video, and I'm just like so annoyed. <laughs> Let's just see what she has to say. Hello, classic crew, and welcome to today's episode of the Scoop. <laughs> If you are new to my- I've never seen that intro before. That was very surprising. 
my channel. The Scoop is our opportunity to catch up, go over what went on over the course of the week, and just act like we're grabbing a cup of coffee together. I've got my... That's right, that is my bad. She explained the Scoop to me before. I've seen her explain the Scoop in her video that I watched before. It's like we're having a coffee together. I get it. Except it's frustrating because it's a one-way conversation, so I can't interject and tell her how wrong she is. Unless I'm losing my mind, I think her video is shaking. I'm gonna try not to lose focus. Substack. If you sign up for my Substack newsletter, you'll get two exclusive videos. Of it is, it's shaking. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is that my husband's and my third anniversary is just around the corner. I am so... I don't care. I'm gonna, forgive me, I'm gonna skip this because this isn't what I'm here to listen to. We've been together for four. We have gardens and Colonial Williamsburg. That's kind of... And it's an easy place for us to visit. We is there an earthquake happening? Is just the camera unstable? Is it something to do with the focus? I'm just like, I ha I need to know because it's really distracting, genuinely distracting for my eyes. I'll see if I can like stabilize it for you because I don't want it to be like... The last thing I wanted to talk about today is something that is trending on Twitter and that is Candace Owens talking about the use of they, them pronouns. So Demi Lovato... The way she looks at the camera She's literally, like, I'm not picking on how she looks or anything, because, oh, I can't, because look at her, she's stunning. I want to talk about Candace Owens and the use of they, them. Like, she's suddenly, like, confrontational almost, and a little bit almost, not smug, but do you get where I'm coming from with how she suddenly, she went from being very open and smiley and I want to talk to you about this, my husband, it's lovely, to just, like, so Demi Lovato recently announced that she wants to be... Demi Lovato recently announced that they want to be referred to by they, them pronouns. It is the epitome of disrespect, of utter disregard for somebody's well-being to openly say, oh, this person said that they... <laughs> Again, there it is, flowing in natural language. This person said that they want to be known by this pronoun and in that sentence, referring to them by the wrong fucking pronoun. It would be like, and I wouldn't do this in any way other than using it as an example right now, it would be like me talking about Classically Abby and saying he the entire video. If I just did this video again and I started from the beginning and I said, he looks quite confrontational right now, it would be fucking offensive. It would be rude. It would be really insulting and demeaning. That's what Abby has just done, and it makes me fucking furious. Referred to by they, them pronouns, and this is what Candace Owens had to say. Announcing that your pronouns are they, them is just poor grammar. I don't care your reasons. Please stop trying to make low academic achievement a thing. <laughs> okay, I know that's, that's Candace Owens. Right, so this isn't direct. I mean, look at Abby's fucking. Why do I always I freeze frame on her faces like this? It's not intentional. This is just what happens when you pause video. All right, it happens to my face as well. But look at how smug and happy she was reading that out. Candace Owens saying, "Let's not make low academic. What did she say? Low academic achievements." And yet, that's wrong. Oh, good. There's a. I'll put this in the comments. Uh, in the comments. I won't do that. I'll put this in the description. There's a um, Oxford English Dictionary article about the history of singular they. Um, they cite the trace of singular they back to 1375 from the medieval romance William and the Werewolf, which uh, I love. <laughs> now this went viral and of course people hated it. But I have to agree, this drives me crazy, okay? They and them are plurals. No, they're not. Always. I've d I, d I don't really have anything else to add because I've just demonstrated that they, them, singular goes back to the 14th century. <laughs> what else is there to say other than you're wrong? And you are a singular human being. So I'm not going to say they, them. I would bet... Okay, so she's saying you is singular. I... I am willing to put money on this. Not a lot, all right? I'm not a rich person. If I was rich, I'd put everything on it. I bet Abby does not say one in every appropriate situation because while in many situations one is the correct term as in one must do one's duty i bet in most of those i was going to say many i didn't mean to sound like the queen it's because i was going to say most and i was going to say many at the same time they mixed i wasn't saying most <laughs> i bet most of the time she says you <coughs> my housemate just locked himself out i'm back 
Yeah, I bet. So I bet she doesn't say one where you should. I bet she says you because that is the informal language that everybody uses. And nobody would criticize somebody for saying you instead of one. But for some reason, for some reason, bigotry, people have a real problem with they. When I'm referring to one person, they and them from a strictly grammatical perspective means that you view yourself as multiple people. Except it doesn't, and you know it doesn't, so shut up. I don't really think that it makes sense for us to use they and them to describe a... Fine, so use something else. Use, um, use like Z. There's some words in other languages that are non-gender specific pronouns. You can find something else. If you really can't do it, which you can, because as described, everybody does and has in their life, but if you really can't, there are other non-binary pronouns that you could use. But instead you choose to misgender Demi Lovato, because let's be honest, it's not the grammar you care about. You know it's not, because there are other words you could use, you're actually wrong, you only care because you think that there shouldn't be anything outside of man and woman. Stop misusing grammar to defend your bigotry. A singular individual. They and them is just not grammatically correct to refer to one person. And I agree with Candace in that I don't think it's acceptable. We don't need to call singular people by plural pronouns. Except you can use it in the singular, so you're wrong. Use a different non-binary pronoun then. That's my thoughts on things. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I that was it. That was it. It was the whole, that was the whole argument. Well, I mean, uh, unpredictably, it, it was a sort of really poor argument. It was a really fucking bad argument. There was no research went into it. No reason. She just wanted an excuse to defend her bigotry uh, and to misgender people. She wants a reason to be able to misgender people and be like, oh, I'm just too intelligent to call people by the right pronouns when she's demonstrating a real lack of fucking critical thinking. There, that's, um, that's my thoughts on classically Abby's bullshit thoughts on pronouns, um, she's wrong. That's the, the long and short of it, in my opinion, is she's wrong. Um, I am going to soon go through her other video, her views on abortion, uh, when I've like calmed down and had a cup of tea. <laughs> do like this video if you liked it, share it, tell a friend, whatever you gotta do. Look at my hair! I look like David Lynch. <laughs> uh, do subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss the next one. All my social medias and the article I mentioned earlier will be in the description. Let me just give a huge thank you and a shout out to my giant chickens over on Patreon. Amber, Black Noisy Blue, The Blue Mini Pixel, Chick-fil-A Death Fries, Conla, Chicken Maximus Lions, God damn it, Conla, everybody else who supports me on Patreon and on YouTube and everywhere. I love you, you're the best. That's too soppy. I really appreciate it. It means the whole world to me. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Have a very lovely week and I will see you really soon.